In this short tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can prove that a point is on a line. So the process that you follow for every question about proving whether a point's on the line is really just a three-step process. So you start with step one. You put the point into an equation of the line. So you're given an equation, you put that point into the equation, and that will help you on your way to finding out if it's on the line. The second step is simplify down. So you want to have one number on one side, one number on the other side, so you've got a comparison. The third step is to reach a conclusion. So the rule is, if both sides of the equation are equal, you get something like 5 equals 5, then the point is on the line. Otherwise, the point isn't on the line. So when you simplify down, if you get 5 equals 4, that's telling you it's not on the line, because if it was on the line, both sides of the equation would be equal. So if you either take a note of these or remember these, we're going to look at an example of this in action. So does the point 5, 7 lie on the line y equals 6x plus 5? This is a typical question. So the first thing we need to do is identify our x and y coordinates. So the first number in a coordinate is your x, the second number is your y, and I've marked those on for convenience. So we write the equation of the line exactly the same as the equation before. So we need to do the substitution. So there's some arrows. So the x is going to be replaced with a 5, and the y is going to be replaced with 7. So you can see how that matches up. We're just replacing the letters with the numbers that we know that match up with those letters. So we then do the substitution. So 6 brackets 5 just means 6 times 5. So we're saying 7 equals 6 times 5 plus 5. Well, no, it doesn't. 7 is not equal to 40. So obviously, the point 5, 7 does not lie on that line. So the conclusion is the point is not on the line. If they were equal, it would be on the line, but they're totally different, so it's not on the line. If we look at an example where it actually does work, for example, the point 217, so we know that we've got the same equation. We substitute in the first number for x, the second number for y. So I'll do this one a little bit quicker. So we've got 17 is 6 times 2 plus 5. Is that true? Well, yes, 17 equals 17. So when you simplify that all down, you get 17 equals 17, and that tells you that the point is on the line. So that, in a nutshell, is how you prove that a point is or isn't on a line. So hopefully this was helpful to you, and thank you very much for watching.